Hello everybody and welcome back to Silver Run Forest. Now a few episodes ago many people pointed out a collectible to me but of course I've only just seen the comments from that video because I do batch record. Uh, so yeah thank you to everybody who noticed that down there. Um, I'm not too sure what it is yet but it's a little island and it does have a collectible on it so splish splash there we go. Um, we have a fish I think. <laughs> Uh, a vertical fish, a flying fish, um, it was a, a bass, bass sculpture, very nice. I can see why it would want to be here. A cute little island with some beautiful surroundings. Okay, right, uh, let's get out of here. Um, that has given us enough money to purchase the sawmill, so it's actually brought us to the right place, pretty much. The sawmill is just over here somewhere. Here it is. So this is going to be really good because we should be able to produce beams, planks, long planks, all those sort of things. And now we have just £14,000 again. So yeah, let's just see what exactly we can make. Planks, wood chips, that would be like a byproduct, I should think. Uh, long planks, wooden beams, and prefabricated walls. Okay, so everything has automatically activated. We should really deliver some wood to here before we rest because then it has all night to work. Uh, so I think that is the best thing to do. It won't take too long. Uh, if I just jump into our banana, just over here, the, <laughs> the Volvo Globetrotter. Yeah, I do like the color scheme that I've gone with. Maybe a little bit unusual, but it's nice to be uh, different. Ooh, we almost met the train on the corner. And here is my forestry machine. So I think we've probably thinned out the big trees there quite well. It is going dark. Um, we don't need to deliver too much, I suppose. I don't want to be doing this in the darkness because otherwise it's going to make the video very hard to watch. But I think we do have time just to get some. Although the lighting on these things should be pretty good. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, so yeah, we'll just move further up. I'm not going to be taking down small trees. It just doesn't seem worth it. It's just a waste of a tree. At least the big trees have a use because they've got so much wood in them. And also, I'm growing my own trees here, so if we replace the big trees with some young trees, then eventually the current small trees will be the big trees. Although I don't think they grow, do they? Do they grow? I think only the ones that you plant will grow. Right, okay. So we're sticking with 12 metres. It seemed to be a very good width. Which is actually, for those trees, almost the entire tree. But I'm hoping, once we've delivered these, we can start those productions up. And then in the morning, we'll have products to transfer to not only the roller coaster, but also to the boats, to the yacht. Because it's going to be really nice to start that production as well, well, the construction project. I'm so used to just dealing with productions, I still call them productions. But no. The roller coaster and the yacht are construction projects. Right, it's all going quite well. Although I'm getting close to my lorry and it would seem silly to, to fell trees right next to it because I'll probably crush it. I have confidence this one is going to go the other way. Oh, <laughs> close. Um, never worth risking it. You just never know. But I'll take a few more down and I'll get them loaded up. Crikey, somersaults from the harvest ahead. Okay, I think that is us pretty much done. Could do with some extra lights. Okay, obviously we don't have any work lights. That would have been nice actually, if you could have an optional work light pointing towards the trailer. I think I've picked everything up. Obviously it's getting really dark now, so it's making it difficult to see. Um, 
But yeah, as you can see, we do have a very good load on the back. So let's take our first load ever to our own sawmill. I'm looking forward to this, and it'll be very interesting to see what this sort of converts into in litres, and also it'll be interesting to see how fast the production works, how fast the sawmill can produce the different products. And although, yeah, we're going to be taking them to the roller coaster, we'll still get paid. So it's not like this is all for nothing. Before, if we put the logs into the water, it just sold them. Uh, I'm thinking now that if I do it, it's going to basically put them into the sawmill for us to then process. I guess a sneaky thing to do would have been to deliver them, sell them, and then buy the sawmill because they might still be there processing. But yeah, that's kind of cheating. Kind of. Anyway, uh, just in case I make a mistake here, I'll save the game. And I'll go and press that button over here. It will certainly accept the logs, it's just whether or not it gives us money. I don't think it will do. Ah. What? Ah, it's just automatic, is it? Because we own it. Is it taking them? I think it's taken. Has it taken some? It looks like it might have done it. It was certainly sprung into life, hasn't it? Yeah, they are disappearing. Well, that's good. I will just take a look at things on the production menu. So far I've got almost 13,000 litres. I'm not too sure if these are far enough in the water. Oh, yes, they are. They're still being taken. I love that you can see them going over there, because I think the idea is you drop them off here, they float across, and then this machine will actually pick them up and take them into the sawmill up the conveyor belt. Can we run up the conveyor belt? I don't think we're supposed to see that part. <laughs> Let's just pretend it's like a rubber flap that opens up when a log goes through. Okay, almost all done. That's been good. Just got one, well, two logs. One big one, one small one. And then we'll have our total. There we go. Okay then, so now I can activate the products that I actually want. 26,000, that might still be increasing. So yes, we definitely want to have, well, everything except for the prefabricated wall. Uh, we may want it for selling. Um, if I can imagine a prefab wall is quite expensive. Yes, extremely. If we took it, put it on the train, um, we'd be getting Potentially more than 17,000. Oh no, that is a good price actually. A very good price. So yeah, if we deliver more wood, then it'd be good. I think we'll just rest tonight, see how it does, and in the morning we'll see what's happened. If it's consuming things slowly, if it's consuming the raw material very slowly, then I think I will activate the pre uh, prefabricated wall as well. But yeah, we'll see what the morning brings. Ah, another lovely day. June. A lovely day in June. So, yeah, how are things going here? It's consumed quite a lot of the wood. So we must have quite a bit in storage. Where exactly do these things spawn? So it looks like we have uh, long planks just here. We've got wood beams, wooden beams just here. And also, these must be like overflow, I'm guessing, from over there. We have got the planks, long planks and beams. There are the planks, beams and long planks, good. So let's get these loaded up and taken over to the roller coaster. As you can see, we've got loads more metal, which is spawned. Um, but we don't need to touch the, the metal furnace today. Let's just get over to the sawmill, 
to get those moved. And I do have an up-to-date version of the game, and that issue remains. Is it just me? Does anybody else still have the camera issue? Maybe I should have picked this up with the lorry. It's further away than I thought. Well, now I've set off, I will finish the journey. We get to go over this lovely bridge. I wonder if there is another collectible near here. I sort of get the feeling there would be. But I'm not going to go looking them up. If I see somebody mention where one is, then I will go and look for it. But that's as far as it goes. Oh, now I feel to be really close to a collectible. There's got to be one around here. Not that I really should be breaking off to look for them. But it just feels like the right place. Also, I run the risk of sort of looking around for them and then standing right next to one and then ignoring it. It wouldn't be the first time. No, haven't seen it straight away, so we must continue. Okay, here we are. So I've just moved my lorry to over there. So we can nice and quickly load it up. I reckon this is going to go quite a long way. Is everything for now although there is going to be more produced but we will have to top up the uh, raw wood supply because quite clearly it does use it quickly no surprise when you are running three different productions uh, right okay so just put some straps over make sure we've got enough and we'll head off but I'm not just going to go and dump this in the trigger to unload because we might give the roller coaster too much and some of it could go to the yacht so, oh actually, the yacht I know for a fact requires metal and it actually also the um, roller coaster probably does as well. So I'm just going to go and pop a few pallets on the back. But I'll see you down at the roller coaster. Here comes the supply lorry. Yep, many products. It's looking good. As will the roller coaster when it's finished. Can't wait to be able to ride it. Uh, right, so um, I just need to jump out and take a look at the requirements. I don't think it's going to need 7,000 litres of planks, but we'll have to have a look. Uh, right, planks, 3,000. Oh, well, four it's going to take because it's over 3,000. Long planks, we need two more. Although we do have some in storage. No, we don't. Okay, so yeah, two. Actually, it'll be much easier if I just get these out as I say them. So, yeah. Three of these. I have to excuse the uh, super strength. Beams, yeah, as we're at the beams, let's just take a look. We need 5,000 litres. That's not possible at the moment, sadly. So, basically, everything that we have. And what else do we need? Long planks. So yeah, we need to have another pallet of long planks. And I'm sure I need metal. 334 litres, but in storage we have 1,306. So that's not for here. That'll have to be for the boat. Um, so yeah, that's everything except for the beams. We don't quite have enough beams. 
But once that is done, yeah, that should be stage two finished. Floor tiles, yeah, they've got enough. Brilliant. Okay, so we shall move on to the boathouse, which I think is just down here. Come to think of it, I probably did load up a bit too much metal. Okay, so this place does take a lot of uh, different products. I actually didn't realise we had to buy it. I thought it was free like the roller coaster. But then again, yeah, you wouldn't expect just to be given a business for free. So, uh, we can probably sell here, but we don't want to just give stuff away, like waste things. We need to buy it. So I think we'll just wait. We'll, we'll keep doing the roller coaster for now. But it's £125,000, and I think it would be quite nice to put the next load of money towards maybe a new tractor, potentially a field again. It would be good to restart the arable. But this map just isn't really set up for arable work. It has some fields, but it's not really enough. So I think what I'm going to do, provided I'm not in a trigger here, which I might be, uh, I'm just going to unload all of the planks, anything wooden basically, but the metal that's staying on board. Because I think the metal is going to be better off going to a train station for selling to Elm Creek. Good. Right then, oh, I suppose we do also have our other production. It's all going well here. So that's 27,000 litres, so we'll just move these two out of the way. I think it's time now to finish work with the lorry for today. What I would like to do is get those stones moved if we can do. So we need the wheel loader and the bucket. And really, ideally, the hydraulic breaker, because there are still more stones. But I might just scoop up the piles that we currently have. And I know I've got way too much weight on the back of this trailer. It's actually lifting up the tractor unit. I'm just going to park this here for now. It's our production, so we can leave it there. Right, okay. So, we need a trailer. I don't actually have a trailer, do I? Because I sold that one. That's the sort of thing that would be really handy. Anything in the sale? No. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I was going to buy this. It would have been good to get it in the sale. So maybe I'm not done with the lorry work at all. Because I'm pretty sure that can take the stone. Yes. That's all. That must be stone. Okay. Well, we do need this anyway for transferring more iron ore. So, yeah. We're now down to £9,000 again. Hooray. Okay. There it is. The very useful side tip trailer. And because it's not very tall, it's going to make it very easy to load with the stone. Just like loading it with ore, actually. So the only problem with this is the stone is pretty much everywhere. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we'll just have to have a look around. It looks like each pile isn't that big. What would it be? 2,000 litres? 1,500 possibly? And all of this stone needs to go over to the crusher, which, well, there might be two, I'm not too sure, but certainly there is one at the uh, mine, which is where this machine needs to go back to anyway, to scoop up more ore. And I probably will miss a pile of stone, but it's not the end of the world, because we'll be doing several sessions of stone clearing. Okay, this doesn't seem that easy to get the final bit. It's a bit reluctant to go into the bucket. Well, I suppose as long as I get most of it. Maybe it isn't the best bucket for it, because it does have teeth. Maybe I should use a, a flat-bladed bucket. Yeah, I got quite a few from here. I broke up quite a few with the uh, skid steer. And I think I might have done some near to the yard. Possibly.
I'm not too sure how many more piles we have, but I've seen many rocks that still haven't been broken up, so we will certainly have to get another skid steer with a breaker. I would quite fancy having a Kubota actually, a Kubota skid steer with the hydraulic breaker. I'm not too sure if we should buy it though, I think it might be more cost effective to rent it because it's not something we need much, um, we'll very rarely use it. And in the same rental session I could also hire the uh, stump grinder, so we could remove some stumps. Although on the easy development mod there is also a button to press and it will remove all the stumps on the map. Uh, it, obviously an easy option, much easier option, um, but obviously not as fun. It's just if I was to go and stump grind all of the stumps it would take forever. So maybe just grind a few and then remove the others using the uh, easy development mod. Is there a pile up there? I believe there is, somewhere. I seem to remember breaking up one pile, or one rock. Does this machine have the power to get up? It does. Impressive. Mm, where is it gone? Where is the pile? Ah, was it removed? It might have disappeared when I did the landscaping. That is a possibility. Okay, well, um, yeah, let's just put this here for now. I think we do have a fairly good load. Yeah, almost 10,000 litres. Can we say any more? I do seem to remember doing more, but then I think on the same day I did also do the, the rock-breaking contract. So that's probably why it feels like I was doing more. I don't think the rocks are worth much, but as I said, it would be good to get over there anyway because then we can load up another uh, load of ore, although <laughs> we would really want to take it on the back of the trailer because it would take forever to drive over there. Maybe that's another thing we should save up for, a bigger wheel loader, because there is the fantastic massive Volvos. At the moment we are going with the slow approach with a 1,000 litre bucket, but it's better than nothing. I can imagine the buckets for these will be much bigger. Look at the size of that. We, we don't even need one that big, they're also very expensive. Um, yes, 5,000 litres, that would be amazing. 10,000 litres, even better. Wow. Um, yeah, so we can dream. It would be good. It would be very good. Soon. Soon we'll be able to afford it. And yes, for anybody interested in the schedule for my videos, uh, we're returning to the normal schedule from Thursday onwards. So we're going to be on this map until Thursday. Uh, on Thursday we'll do possibly the last multiplayer episode before competitive multiplayer. And then we'll be doing survival. No, sorry, vintage survival on Friday, Survivor Challenge, Saturday and Sunday, and then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday will be on here. Um, I will try and finish that contract which I was doing on uh, Construction Simulator at some point, but probably not the Monday when I resume the normal schedule. Because obviously, Platinum Edition is here, been looking forward to it, and very much enjoying it. So I want to play this as much as possible. Okay, I will see you over at the mine. Here we are. The mine shaft. I think we can just tip this next to the crusher. Can't confidently say that we can get away with just doing that. But, well, certainly on the uh, other base game maps, we can just tip in front of it. I quite like it over here. It's not a bad part of the map at all. Good to see all the redwood trees. Okay, yeah, that pile of iron ore is always growing. It's massive. There's two icons for tipping, so yeah, we can certainly get away with uh, putting it just here. Right. 
press I. And what do we expect here? I'm going to say £3,000. Maybe we'll be lucky. Oh dear. Well, I did say they weren't worth much, but I was expecting and hoping for more than 1500 <laughs> Oh dear. Right, well, uh, at least we're here. I wonder how much ore we have in the metal factory. It's probably consumed quite a bit by now. Yeah, it's over half full though still. The wood in the uh, sawmill is actually the biggest problem. Oh yeah, that'd be good. Although we don't need it urgently, but we probably should take some of the planks to the floor factory. We do have some planks left, so yeah, I'm not too sure which ones we'll take. Maybe some fresh ones. Anyway, yeah, I'll put that there. And um, yeah, so much for finishing with this for today. Yeah, it's a very useful machine. If I was to drive that wheel over here, it would take a very long time. I really wish we had the bigger one. If only this came in the sale. Instead of these. I have decided to get the low loader to transport the wheel loader. We just can't drive it over there. It would take forever. It would be absolutely painful. So I need to remove... What should I remove them? I could move those pallets up to the front so that we can drive the wheel loader on the back. Um, but yeah, what we'll do is we'll just get it taken over there ready for tomorrow. And tomorrow we can uh, load up the trailer. But I'm hoping to do some more contracts. I think doing more contracts would be good. Maybe even an arable contract. I have noticed there is a cultivation one, which might be quite fun. Soon there'll be a harvesting one. Do some harvesting. Whoa! And that's why you don't put all the weight on the back of the trailer. Good. So the pallets are all relatively neatly stacked. Much better. And now we can just get the ramps out. And drive the willow drum. It would be nice to think that we could sell the wheel loader, <laughs> even though it's not ours, because then we could make some money to put towards the other one, the new one. But I don't... Well, the game might let us, actually. There is a chance, but we shouldn't, because it's not ours. Okay. I think we'll be alright parking it about there. Put those ramps back up. Probably should strap everything. And we'll make our way over to the mine. As I said, it's a long way. It would have taken so long. I think the top speed of that wheel loader is about 13. 13 miles per hour. And um, yeah, I suppose that would have taken 5, 10, 10 minutes? 15 minutes? Probably shouldn't exaggerate. Probably 10 minutes. But it would have been slow. Well, here we are. It's actually no bad thing having the low loader here because we do need to move all the metal again, uh, which we'll do in July in the next episode. And then with that money, we can hopefully buy some new machinery or maybe some new land or... I don't think it'll be a new product, uh, production actually because we do already have quite a few productions. Oh, <laughs> still strapped down at the front. And uh, yeah, we're, we're okay for productions currently. But that's what we'll do. First thing in, in the next episode, we'll load up one full load of ore. I'll put a bucket in now. And um, yeah, then we can top up the metal factory. We can then take the low loader over there, move all the metal, sell it. And hopefully, yeah, hopefully uh, buy something in, in the sale, in the vehicle sale. It would be good. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.